What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Got my new hat in. Tennessee Titans tighten up tomorrow game day versus the Texans. Hope we win. But I'm going to get straight into it. Uh, today we're going with the Note 7 about the recall. I know I'm late, but I've been busy. But we're going to get into that. Go ahead and get into that so we can get this over with. So, uh, as you can see, Got Note 7, Note 7, and the S7. Now, right here on this screen, you see this safety recall. Your safety is our highest priority power down. And stop using your device. The battery may overheat, posing a fire or burn risk. That's that recall, Note 7. Right here, I have a brand new one, as you see. Note 7 still have the plastic on it. I just got done setting it up. And this isn't the recall version. So I'm going to tell you how you can tell the difference between the two. So right here. Okay, so you see I got these boxes. Got four of them. So same identical box, different color. The top is for blue Note 7. The bottom is for black Note 7, as you can see now they're both t-mobile this date says 8 5 2016 this date says 09 2016 this is when it the top is from when it first released this is when they re-released them so this is a new version if you notice on the box again it says v2 that's version 2 this doesn't have that Again, how you tell that you have a replacement note, it says V2, and it has this black dot. If you look at the top box, it doesn't have that black dot or the V2, and of course, the dates are different. So, that being said, I will show you some more things. Now, I showed you the, that the phone says the safety recall on the home screen. Now, another way that you know every time you plug your phone up wait let me unlock it click ok and lock it back every time you plug the phone up to the charger that safety recall notice is going to come up if you have the old version of the note 7 when they first released it's always going to pop up every time you plug it up to the charger and one thing i notice once you update that software it's always going to have that update service in your notifications if you have the first version, the recall version. Second thing, right here, the battery. I don't know if you can see that battery. The battery is gray. That's how you know you have the recall Note 7. That battery is gray. So again, the message, the notification, and the gray battery. The phone still will charge and function and everything like that. It's just going to give you that that notification every time. Now, we're going to go to the new version, the replacement. There we go. Turn the screen on. Lock it. Plug it to the charger. No recall. Drop down. By status. Charging transfer sim card it doesn't say anything about the safety recall and look at the battery the battery is green that's how you know so this is a replacement note 7 the battery is green it has no notification and it doesn't give you that safety recall on your home screen once you plug it up now I was very disappointed in this because I love phones. I love the Note. Um, they should have checked all their phones. I mean, you you make so much money. You're selling a phone for a thousand dollars. You you shouldn't have this little problem, you know. And then you have this problem, and then your competition takes over a couple weeks later after you have this problem. So, what they're doing to fix this, of course. They're giving replacement phones. Um, they exchange your phone for free. They're also giving you a $25 credit 
to your account uh, any accessories accessories you bought for the phone if you're deciding to go with a new phone they will refund you for those accessories as long as you have a proof of purchase um, other than that you can replace your phone or they will you replace your phone with an S7 or S7 Edge or exchange your phone for a new phone whenever they have them and I'll say this right now I've already tried to exchange my blue one and they don't have any phones so it's just a big backup and the new Note 7s won't be for sale for at least another month or so because they're still in the process of replacing everybody who bought the phones when they first came out so it's a tough decision I mean there's only been like 35 40 cases of the batteries overheating and exploding I've had issues with mine like I'll plug it up sometime and my charger gets hot but that's about it I mean the phone works perfectly fine no issues whatsoever so I really don't see a problem with it that's why people are keeping them and selling them but the phone's still under warranty for a year so it really doesn't matter but again that's a little bit on the note 7 recall like comment subscribe let me know what y'all think tighten up